Hi everyone! Today I am reading Dear Peter Rabbit. It's by Alma Flor Ada and illustrated by Leslie Tyrone. This is kind of a funny story. It has lots of different um, fairy tales in it. So Peter Rabbit talks to a lot of different characters that you've read their fairy tales. Dear Peter Rabbit. So on every page there's like a letter. This is kind of letter formatted. It's who it's addressed to and who it's from. And then it says Dear Peter and it, and it is, has a signature. On this one it's Pig One. And then it has the picture of the person writing the letter. So let's see what this letter says. This is from the Straw House in Woodsy Woods, Woods, March 12th. Dear Peter, have I got news for you. You know how much I've always wanted to have my own house? Well, last week I got lucky. I met a farmer with a big load of hay who offered to let me have some. Pig 2 is still working on his stick house, and Pig 3 is taking forever to finish his brick house. But my beautiful straw house is all finished and ready. I'll be having a housewarming party next Thursday, the 19th, at 5 p.m. So please hop on over and help warm up my house. See you there, your good friend, Pig One. So sometimes when you have a new house, you have what's called a housewarming party and you invite your friends over. I don't, maybe it was originally to warm up your house. I don't think of that now, but it's just kind of an excuse to have a party and celebrate their new house. So you remember Pig One built the house out of straw. Let's see what happens next. Now this one is from Bear House in the Woods in the Hidden Meadow. Goldilocks. McGregor, McGregor's Farm. So they're writing it to Goldilocks and it's from Baby Bear. Dear Goldilocks, your letter is the best. My grandma always sends a Christmas card and a birthday card, but yours is the first real letter I've ever gotten. Wow, I'm so sorry that you broke my chair too. It is my most favorite chair, but don't worry. My father fixed it and painted it green because green is my favorite color. Dad says the chair is so strong now that it won't break even if you sit on it again. Mom says come visit anytime. Dad says it's okay too, but knock on the door first before you come in. Let me know when you're coming. I'll ask mom to make us some chocolate cake. She makes the best chocolate cake in the whole world. Your new friend, Baby Bear. So you remember the story where Goldilocks went in and broke their chair and was in their house? So she must have written a letter, it sounds like, to say, I'm sorry, Baby Bear, that I broke your chair. Baby Bear's writing back. So this one is from McGregor's farm on the vegetable lane. And it's Baby Bear in the woods. Dear Baby Bear. And it's from Goldilocks before we start. Dear Baby Bear, my parents gave me permission to go to your house on Sunday, the 22nd. But I have to remember to water 10 rows of vegetables first. It's not that easy to water the garden. The rows are really long and the watering can is pretty heavy when it's full, but it's kind of fun towards the end of each row. Sometimes when the sun is shining, it makes a little rainbow right there as I'm making it rain over the vegetables. Lately, some vegetables have been disappearing from our garden. Every other night or so, a cabbage, a lettuce, or a carrot is missing. My father think it's the rabbits that steal them. And he makes, it makes him very angry. And guess what? Yesterday, after he chased a rabbit out of the garden, my father found a tiny jacket by the fence and the tiniest pair of shoes between some rows of carrots. He made a little scarecrow with them. And he says he hopes it will keep the pest away. I would really like to meet their owner someday. See you Sunday. Love, Goldilocks. So who do you think that is? Who was in the McGregor's garden? It 
was Peter Rabbit, right? And he left behind his shoes in the story. So this one is to Pig One, and it's from Peter Rabbit. Dear Pig One, I'm very sorry that I can't be at your housewarming party. I've never been to a housewarming party before, and I'd love to go. But I'm in bed with a cold, and Mother says that as long as I'm sneezing and coughing, I can't go anywhere at all. I'm happy to hear your good news, but myself, I haven't been very lucky lately. On one of my last visits to the McGregor's Vegetable Farm, I almost got caught by Mr. McGregor. I had to jump into a watering can half full of water in order to hide. I guess that's how I got this awful cold. Now, instead of having fun at your party, I'm in bed drinking chamomile tea. Your friend, Peter Rabbit. So that's part of the story, right? He got sick. And there he is. His mom has given him some chamomile tea. His, looks like one of his brothers or sisters is holding it. Okay, this one is to Peter, and it's from Pig One. So these stories are going back, or the letters are going back and forth between different people, different characters in the stories, right? So now we're back to pig one. Here he is. Does it look like he's still in his straw house? It looks like he's in the stick house, right? Let's see what he says. Dear Peter, I'm sorry that you have a cold, but don't feel bad about missing the housewarming party. There wasn't one. Instead, I had the most terrible scare. Even now, all the hairs on my chinny chin chin curl up with fear when I think about what happened. Can you imagine who came knocking at the door? The big bad wolf. Since I refused to open the door and let him in, he started huffing and puffing and would you believe he blew my whole house down? There was straw flying everywhere. Fortunately, I managed to escape in one piece to my brother Pig Two's house. I'm living here for now. And since his house is made of sticks, we should be safe. The good news is we'll be having a housewarming party for this house next Wednesday, the 25th. If you're feeling better, please come. Your friend, Pig One. Hmm, what happens to Pig Two's house? The wolf blows it down too. Let's see what happens in the... next. Okay, this one is to Baby Bear from Goldilocks. Dear Baby Bear, you were so right. Your mother's chocolate cake was delicious. It was a lot of fun to see you, and your father sure knows how to tell stories. I especially like it when he pretends to be a wolf. Speaking of wolves, I saw the strangest thing when I was coming home from your house. There was a little girl in the forest, all dressed in red. She was talking to a wolf. He seemed like a very nice wolf, not mean or scary. I wanted to talk to him too, but he left before I had a chance. The little girl told me she was picking flowers to take to her godmother, grandmother. I helped her for a little while, but then I had to go home. I didn't want to be late because I didn't want my parents to get mad and tell me I, I can't come visit you again. I needed to go water the call. I need to go water the cauliflowers now. I hope you can come visit me sometime, Goldilocks. So who did she see in the forest that wears red and talking to a wolf? Little Red Riding Hood, right? There's a picture of what she saw. Here's Goldilocks and here's Little Red Riding Hood talking to the wolf. We haven't had that story come into this book yet, right? So let's see what happens next. This one is to Pig One and Pig Two, and it's from Peter Rabbit. Look what's happening here. Dear Pig One and Pig Two, what bad luck. Here I am missing another housewarming party. Are you having ice cream? I sure wish I could be there, but my mother says absolutely not. I can't get out of bed as long as I'm coughing, and no matter how hard I try not to, it seems I always cough when she's nearby. Just between you and me, I think she's afraid I might go back to the McGregor's garden, even though I promised I wouldn't. I do hope you're having lots of fun. As soon as I'm better, I'll come visit you at your new house. Love, 
Peter Rabbit. P.S. Sorry about the straw house. But are they having a party? No, the wolf is there. And it looks like he's blowing the stick house down, doesn't it? So this one is to Peter from Pig One. There's Peter with his mother. Dear Peter, you'll never believe what happened. There we were, getting ready for the party, and who shows up again but the very same big bad wolf? Of course, my brother refused to open the door. We thought that in a stick house, we'd be safe for sure. Although it took him twice as long as last time, after enough huffs and puffs, the big bad wolf blew my brother's house stick, my brother's stick house right down. Lucky for us, we outran the old wolf and made it safely over to Pig Three's house. Pig Three said he dares that wolf to try to blow down his new brick house. And since he's sorry we lost our houses, Pig Three offered to have a special housewarming party for all of us in his house this Sunday. I hope you'll be able to come this time. There will be three different kinds of ice cream. I'm sending you some of my grandma's eucalyptus, eucalyptus cough drops. They always help me. Your friend, Pig One. Who do you think the next letter will be from? It's to Baby Bear and it's from Goldilocks. Dear Baby Bear, guess what? I'm having a birthday party next Sunday and I know that your, mo that your mother doesn't usually let you leave the woods, but I hope that just this once she'll let you come. It would be extra special to have you there. Remember how I told you about the little girl I saw talking to the wolf? Well, we're friends now. You won't believe what happened to her. The wolf was planning to have her for lunch. If it hadn't been for Hans the woodcutter, things would have ended pretty badly for her. And as it was, things ended badly for the wolf. Please tell Mama Bear that I will take very good care of you and it will make me very happy to have you at my party. Your friend, Goldilocks. P.S. I hope the little rabbit who has been stealing lettuce from our garden will also be there Sunday. I secretly watched and ironed his jacket and left it by the gate last night, along with an invitation to the party. Oh, do you think Peter Rabbit and Baby Bear might come to Goldilocks' party? Okay, where does it look like they are now? It looks like they're in Pig Three's brick house, right? This one is to Pig One, Pig Two, and Pig Three, and it's from Peter Rabbit. Dear Pig One, Pig Two, and Pig Three, I have received the most surprising letter. I'll bet you could never in a million years guess who it's from, so I'll just tell you. It's from a human being. You know that my mother has forbidden us to go to the McGregor's Garden. It's a dangerous place. But the carrots and the cabbages are hard to resist. And yesterday, I didn't even have to go inside the garden. I found my jacket and shoes outside the gate along with a note and two juicy carrots. The note turned out to be an invitation to Goldilocks McGregor's birthday party. Do you think her father knows about this? Well, I sure would love to see what a human party is like. And the invitation says to bring as many friends as I want. Would the three of you like to come with me this Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m.? Your friend, Peter Rabbit. P.S. The wolf's tail soup you served at the housewarming party was delicious. I was very happy to make it to your party at last. So in the real fairy tales, Goldilocks, is they don't ever say she's Goldilocks McGregor. But in this book, they do, so they tie all those fairy tales together. Okay, let's look at this picture. Where do you think that is? There's a wolf, it looks like. This says it's to Cousin Fox, and it's, a dr and it's signed from Wolfie. So let's see. Dear Cousin Fox, it was very disturbing to hear of your misadventures. I join you in grieving for your tail. 
it was, I'm sorry, my own terrible experience after my encounter with that little girl in red has led me to think that perhaps we do well to change our diet. It is not a pleasant prospect, but it may be in our own best interest to avoid both young girls and pigs. From now on, from now on, I have better tidings regarding your tail. As you can see in the enclosed clippings, you should not have any difficulty in procuring a satisfactory replacement. I understand it will not be quite the same, but it will allow you to the house, allow you to leave the house and engage in company and be seen in public. I trust that you will be satisfied with the services of Mr. Raccoon, who has been a dear friend for many years. I look forward to the pleasure of your company once again in the very near future. Affectionately, Wolfie. And here's a little, it looks like a clipping from the newspaper they were talking about. It says, enjoy the luxury of a furry look instantly. Patches, ears, tails, custom made to fit your needs. Speedy Raccoon Furrier. So look at all the tails he has. It looks like he's going to give Wolf a new tail. Oh my goodness, look at this party. Do you see Goldilocks? Do you see Little Red Riding Hood? How about Baby Bear? Do you see Baby Bear? And the three pigs? Oh my goodness, everybody's there. Looks like she got her wish. Let's see if that's the end. That is the end. Last page, happy for her. It looks like they all decided to get along. And look, there's even Peter Rabbit. And it doesn't tell us who this man is. Do you think that's Farmer McGregor? Her dad? Goldilocks's dad? Or the one that was chasing after Peter Rabbit? Maybe he decided he, it was okay for him to come to the party anyway. I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll see you next time, Hugo Reed. Bye-bye.